Hi, Dr. Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Welcome to our video series for parents and professionals. Please remember these visits are not intended to replace visits to your regular doctor. Uh, we would, if you're having questions or concerns, we're more than happy to see you here in our office. Area code 775-359-7111. We'll get you in the same day. But please realize we can't really treat you over the telephone or internet. That's not good medical care. So today we want to talk about tuberculosis testing, how to do it, and um, how to place it. And specifically we're going to look at the purified protein derivative, or PPD. Uh, we're not going to talk about quantiferon gold testing. The old time tests, which was the multi-prick device, are no longer recommended for use at all. So um, I don't even know if those are commercially available. So again, we're not going to talk about that. We're just talking about PPD. So uh, it's placed interdermally, that means in the skin, not below the skin, but in the skin. To do that, you want to use 28 gauge needle and a TB syringe. You put, uh, you're going to put in um, 0 0.1 milliliters of um, tuberculin. Make sure that you go with the bevel up so that you can see when it's in the skin. This is one you do not want to aspirate on because it'll, it'll blow you out of the skin if you try to aspirate. Um, once it's placed, it's critical that it be read within 48 to 72 hours by a licensed practitioner, meaning we don't have patients read these at home. And we're going to read for induration, that's swelling, not redness, not marks. A blind person can read a PPD. So Patterson, my student here, is going to place it correctly. We're going to place it in the right, in my case, I just... I always place them in the same place on everybody so I can find them. Uh, so we're going to place it in the right volar forearm. Yes. And make sure you can get a good view of. Okay. Let me know when I should start screaming. <laughs> when it's all over. Okay, pull the skin taut. Yep. You go in just shy of parallel to the skin and there should be a little wheel when you're done. All right, and there's my wheel. We do not put a band-aid over this. And it's going to be a moment. We do not put a band-aid over this and um, that's that. So hopefully this has educated you. I'll come back in 48 hours and read this. And uh, again, we're going to feel for palpable induration, not for, um, not for redness. And if it's positive, then you need to be worked up. I hope this has been educational for you. This is Dr. Kevin Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. We'll see you next time.